Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is Lightning here. Today, I have a quick little video for you. Um, I'm going to show you how to get outside the map and back into the starting area for the Nomad. Now, I'm a street kid. I never went there on this playthrough. Uh, as you know, this is the starting area for the Nomads, if you've played the Nomad. And if you've ever tried to go through that gate, you know that you basically you die. Let me get rid of this stupid burrito thing on my screen. There we go. If you ever see that, just hover your mouse over something and it'll make it go away. I thought I heard something. Hello, kitty. In my closet, that's like a real cat. Alright, so, easiest way to get there... Where's the fat? There, here we go. Easiest way to get there, um, it's actually down here in the Biotechnica plants. Um, you want to go to the... Uh, that one right there. And once we get loaded in, I'll show you the easiest way to get outside. Now, you will need Double Jump and the Krenzikov. Can't do it without both of these. There are other ways to get out without the Krenzikov glitch and the Double Jump. However, they take much longer and they're honestly not worth doing. Alright, so just follow me along here. Uh, you want to go over here and jump on top of this building up here and then sorry, my mouse, my mouse started messing up there. Alright, you get on top of this tank and then why am I crouched? Then get on top of this pipe. You want to run all the way to the edge here. Drop a quick save. And do the Krenzikov jump. If done right, you should land on top of, or vault, on top of the invisible wall right below me, as you can see here. Now, to get down, I just use the sliding glitch. You can double jump down. I've done it once, once only. The sliding glitch is much easier to do. From here, just take a left at this water tower that I'm shooting at. And you want to run through these uh, bio green, soylent green growing places until you reach a road. Easiest way to do it from here is to grab a motorcycle. I'm going to choose the freebie that you get, you know, anyways, so... Yep, Apollo Scorpion. And... That front wheel is not spinning. Okay. Take an immediate left, and just go straight. Eventually, you will reach the wall. And I'm going to show you the trick to getting through. You're going to laugh your ass off when you see it. Alright, so here we are at the wall. I'm going to go ahead and stop here. Uh, as you can see, that section of the wall in front of us looks different. And I'll show you what I mean. Sit over there, you can see it's got collision. You can see the bullet holes. Nothing there. That's not a real wall, it's a painting. The way you can tell is it doesn't have that grating on the top, or the barbed wire, excuse me. And you can just pass right through it. And from here, it's a very, very short drive down to uh, that starting city. I'm going to go ahead and speed this up uh, for this section just because... All right, we're back. As you can see here, this is the starting city, uh, for, or the starting town for the Nomad. Uh, there's no one here. All the NPCs um, uh, either have not spawned or 
they despawned. Uh, I'm a street kid, so the, they probably never spawned for me. As you can see, you can just go over here and grab all the items that's here. Now, it's not much because it is a starting city, but you can grab the items, get back on your bike, and we're basically going to head back in the exact same way. And I'm going to go ahead and speed up the video again. Uh, just to show you how easy it is to get back in. Now, I'm going to state, do not go through that gate. Don't even try. You will die. I'm going to put a way marker in so I know which way to go, and I'm just going to speed it up starting here. As you can see, we're back. We just came back in. And to get back in, you're going to have to just go straight down here. And you want to keep going. You don't want to go where, basically, as you can see, the road right there. You don't want to go along the route that has the road. Uh, we actually want to go basically where that yellow line is. So we're going to take a left here. I might screw this up, just letting you guys know. I think it's after this. Yeah, I think it's this right here. Yeah, this looks right. And then we're just going to basically drive until we get to the wall that separates this area from Pacifica. Yeah, there's that water tower that we passed. Uh, so yeah, we're on the right track. And we... Fun. Alright. Let's get this back up and running. And we just go along right here where this little concrete section is uh, riding along the ledge or the edge right here and we just keep going we're gonna keep going until we reach the end now I've only done this twice and it is very glitchy so I might screw it up a few times and I apologize if you see me reload in this video I just want it to be shown as authentic as possible to show that I'm not you know cutting out 45 times where I screwed it up and got it that to work the one time I think we're reaching... Yes, we are. Okay. Is this one it right here? I don't know if it's this one or the one on the left of us. Let's see. While I'm on... Well, I'm in... Invisible wall, that's... Yeah, that... So this invisible wall here, it actually, for some reason, is slanted, so you can kind of jump across it. Right now it's being weird. I think I have to go over here. And double giant didn't let me. Okay. Alright. Alright, there's the invisible wall. Now, I've never gotten it to go up on the right-hand side, but I'm going to try it. Yeah, it looks like I'm just going to keep falling. It's screwed. I'm going to go up the left. So yeah, if, as you can see here, when I go up the left-hand side, it just pretty much... Let's me on top. And as you can see, I'm on top of an invisible, you know, roof basically. Um you can't see the bullet holes in that one because this these don't glow. And you wanna just follow and I screwed that up. <laughs> That's why I drop quick saves. Anytime you're doing this, drop a quick save. Right before you do something risky, obviously. Okay, back on top of that invisible wall. I'm just going to look straight down here, and we'll do the sliding glitch. Perfect. 
And from here, as you can see, we're back in the city. Right beside Pacifica. And... Oh, it's coming from the other way. <laughs> I love when they do that. Uh, yep, that's our point right there. I'm just going to take us back to the apartment and go to sleep. But uh, as you can see, it, it's very easy to get out. You do need to glitch to get out. Um, there are methods of doing it without the glitch. I, it takes a lot longer to do. I might do a video on that later. It just takes a very long time to do. Um, personally, that is the easiest method I've found to get us through. And, it, yeah, you do have to glitch to get out of it. And, you know, CD Projekt Red may patch it at one point in time. But, uh, for right now, it's very possible to get back outside the map to the Nomad area. <laughs> and if you're wondering, yes, I have tried to break through that gate from the other side as well. It looks like the death wall that hits you if you've tried to break out. It's actually just police aggro. Eventually, you'll just die from too much police aggro. But let's get back in here. And oh, cat's still in the closet. <laughs> and with that, I think we are good to go. Um, as you can see, it's a very easy method to get in and out and back in again. Um, you know, y'all have fun.